Let's go racing! All right. Jackson always asking for money. About to go see the world's biggest shovel. I don't know why this should be made. I don't know who the hell could use it, but there it is. <laughs> what the? F <laughs> That's a big hole you can dig. That's hilarious. I don't know why anybody would have that, but you know. That's fine. Beat the camel. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. I'm gonna try to feed it. Oh dude, it's so soft. Oh my gosh. It's so We're soft. Feeding, I'm feeding a king two kangaroos right now. Oh my gosh. They're so cute. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry guys, let me let me try to get you more here. My boots smell crazy. Watch out, little baby. Ah, I don't have any food, guys. Oh, wow. Those are brand new. What are these? These ones are called, um, no, no, the, the earless ones. They're, uh, Thing that has to happen is they have to have a baby. So 
even though she eats about 50 pounds of feed a day, she's putting all that into milk production instead of the fat and muscle. So on the dairy farm, we're going to make what's called a total mixed ration. That's all the things our cows need to eat to stay healthy. I say we're going to take our corn, grain, oats, grass, wheat, alfalfa, all these different plant materials our cows like to eat. We're going to mix them together in a big blender that we call a shredder. And we're going to put that food out on concrete for our cows to come up and eat as much food as they need. Put my pail beneath there. I'm going to make two little case symbols and squeeze gently. So if I come over here to do that, <laughs> now that milk that's going in there right now, do you guys think it's hot or cold? Hot. It's hot. It's at about 100 degrees when it comes from the cow, and that's because her body temperature is 101. Cows are much warmer than you know. We need to homogenize it. And what that means is we take all that cream, we put it through a tiny metal screen. It breaks down the size of those cream particles down to their smallest parts. And then when we add it back into the liquid part of our milk, it's no longer gonna float to the top. This is also when we'll decide whether it's skim milk, 1%, 2%, or whole milk, because that's based on how much cream we add back into that milk. After we do that, we wanna make sure that it lasts long enough for us to enjoy it. So we need to pasteurize that milk. And that means we do a flash heat to 165 degrees for about 45 seconds. That's it, then we pull it back down. Now, instead of lasting for four or five days, it'll last for two to three weeks and give us plenty of time to enjoy our dairy products. Stupid. Shout out H-E-B. Give me some free stuff. But it is Austin, Texas, Saturday afternoon, guys. How many of you guys have ever seen a turkey race before? Let's see a show of hands. All right, that's terrible. I like it when nobody's seen one. That way they can leave and it's the best one they've ever seen. Go Let's go racing! <laughs> Ten items that belong on the farm. The beginning on the farm. All of it, technically, right? Yeah. Uh, there you go. I'm gonna change them. Seven, Caden Vaught, Bob Pope, the FFA. Breeder is Cowley Shogo. 